New deck, bathroom, kitchen. It's so nice, the first day listed for sale, the phone was ringing. And this house actually turned out better than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and I bet James Jamison would tell you the project was more fun than expected. The Youth Build participants started working on this house back in March. As part of the program, they have to spend half the week learning job skills and half the week re-engaging in school. We had a chat back at the Easter Seals office about what all this has meant. Help me get back in school because I dropped out of school. Uh, I didn't know where I was going to be without this program for real. I was uh, kind of lost. And they helped me find out. They helped me uh, dig deep. It's encouraged my life. And um, Shashan, Latoya, Garrick, they, they've, they've pushed me to my limit to where I'm succeeding. Jeremy starts college next month. They'll tell you here there are misconceptions about students who drop out or find themselves at risk. They're caring for a parent, they're caring for siblings, um, you know, they may have moved around so many times that there's no way they feel like they're ever going to get caught up on their credits. I was going to be a high school dropout because I didn't have the type of support of my family. As part of a grant to fund this program, the house must be sold to someone who is qualifying low income and rehabbed in a low income community. Does it make you all feel good that someone's going to live in a better house because you did some work? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, how about a big shout out to Youth Build? Hey. <laughs>Paula Toady from Local 12, and I just wanted to hear about how excited you all are, are about construction. Who likes the construction trades? You're liking it? Okay, all right. Well, you look really excited. What do you like about working on these houses? I like, uh, I like, it's a lot of uh, fun stuff. I like um, building it. I like t uh, turning it apart, refixing it, um, using many different tools. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. What's your name? Blake Stewart. And Blake, if you didn't have this program... What, what does this mean to your life? Has this changed anything for the long term? Yeah, it changed a lot. It uh, helped me get back in school because I dropped out of school. Uh, I didn't know where I was going to be without this program for real. I was uh, kind of lost. And they helped me find out. They helped me uh, dig deep and uh, helped me find out about a lot of stuff about myself. Does yeah. anyone else have a similar feeling about this program, what it's done to their life? Yeah, you're shaking your head. What? What's your name? Um... Jeremy Cantrell, and um, the experiences that I had with um, Youth Build is very great. It, it's it, it's encouraged my life, and um, Shashan, Latoya, Garrick, they they've they've pushed me to my limit to where I'm succeeding and um, still succeeding into the tr construction trade, and um, they've helped me get through school. Um, you know, actually, I one time, Mr. Garrick said, how can you get four credits in one month? You know, and, and I was in a credit recovery school, and I didn't say anything, and it just made me strive more, even harder just to graduate, and I did, you know, and it's just, he basically motivated me, you know. Um, I don't think he meant anything by disrespect. I just think he was motivating me to do everything I can possibly to get that done so really quickly and do, do it right, you know, get good grades and, you know, get the credits. But, I mean, all that stuff that I've done with Youth Build, um, build benches and, you know, in the first couple of weeks we built benches and stuff and it's just amazing opportunity and, um, you know, that's basically it, you know. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. And this young lady went all the way back in the other room to get a hard hat because you obviously like wearing your hard hat. What's your name? And tell me about the fun you're having with this project. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> My name is Bianca Anderson. I like the project. It's fun. It showed me. I learned a lot of experience, new stuff. Yeah. What kind of construction stuff do you really like? Is it the painting? Is it the woodwork? The woodwork, painting, putting up walls, I like all that. Cleaning up, too. I like cleaning up. I like my hammock, too. <laughs> can you see yourself doing this for a living? Uh, Probably can, but I don't think so. No? Okay. 
But what, what has it helped you with that you think that will help you get a job later on? Y'all quit staring at me. <laughs> well, you're back in school, I hear. Uh, I'm, I graduated. Oh, okay. I graduated in May from Hughes High School. I graduated. Do you think that some of the skills you're learning here can help you in the workforce? Yeah. They can help me work on other houses. Hey, you know. Okay, what's the best thing about working in construction? Does anybody know? What do you think? What do you think in terms of getting a job? Work hard. You work hard, but what's, what's really good about construction? What? People skills. People skills. Here we go. Here we go. You, I can tell you really like what you're doing. You kept smiling when I mentioned construction. Tell me why you like it and what's your name? My name is James Jameson, and I like construction because I like tearing down walls. They said that I was the incredible hawk because I took a sledgehammer and knocked down the whole wall. <laughs> And that's a skill. There are a lot of walls in town that need to come down, right? Okay. What about building them back up? Do you think you're going to like to hang drywall or paint? What do you, what do you want to do? I, I like paint a lot because when you see what you painted, it, it amazes you at what you're looking at. Because at first it might have looked at, why is this paint looking like that? It look all old and like five years old and stuff. And when you put a new coat of paint on there, it look fresh and new. And you just like what, you, what you're looking at. It makes you proud, doesn't it, when you see it? And don't you think when you clean up a house, the community just feels better, too? Yeah, they feel better. They, they might say, oh, I want them to work on my house. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, a lot of people want to hire contractors to work on their house. It's hard to find good help, you know. Right. See, that's where I was going with this. You know one of the best things about construction? You can't get on the phone, dial 1-800 and get it from another country. You have to hire someone right here to come to your house, right? You can't outsource it. Does everybody get that? Does everyone know what outsourcing is? how a lot of jobs get outsourced. A lot of trades can't be outsourced, right? So what do you think? You want to stay in construction? Um, yes. I think I do want to stay in construction, but I, I want to do something else too. So I got a lot of fields going on right now. So, But I like construction. I like the demolition part. Everybody likes tearing <laughs> stuff down. Because <laughs> I feel like if you, say if you just, not in a good mood one day and you go to work and you just come to work and just take your anger out on on the wall tear whatever down whatever needs to be tore down just get straight to it i think that's the best part yeah. what's your name <laughs> asia davis asia. what are some other things you're thinking about you said you might consider some other things did you finish uh, school no i'm right now i'm waiting on my test scores uh and come back next month and uh hopefully i can go to college and right now I also model on the side so I can see that <laughs> you must like clothes and all those things too uh -huh. so maybe how about some fashion design or what what might you think of in college uh cosmetology hair I like to do hair so another thing you can't outsource you need your hair done you can't go to another country right yes <laughs> yes and every female need their hair done so I'm with you on that. I get it. I get it. Can you move in with me? All right. <laughs> Anybody else have some stories that they want to share? Who else just really feels like this program's been a good thing? Anybody else? What? 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 You were smiling. What? <laughs> yes. What's your name? DeMarco Jackson. DeMarco, where would you be without this program this summer? Just working on my other job at Panera Bread. Another job too? That's pretty motivated. Then what got you into a second job here? If I can stay out the streets, just keep working, just do what I gotta do, stay out of trouble. Is that hard to do? Oh yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah. yeah, I'll be tired. Really? Really? Okay. So do you think what do you think you're gonna do with your life long term? How do you think you'll make money? Keep working. I wanna go to college for uh computer science. There you go. That's mm -hmm. a good field. What do, you like? what do you like better, computers or construction? Computers. Computers, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is just a way to pass some summer time. And get, you, did you get some skills that can help you on your own house someday? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm going to call nobody to work on my house when I get my own spot. I can do it myself. There you go. Save some money, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody needs to know how to, like, wire some electric, right, or paint, right? If you're a homeowner, it's just a big money pit, so you have to learn how to do it yourself because you can't hire for everything. All right, what do you think? What do you think of these kids? 
I am very proud of them. They, they talk a lot about demolition and tearing down walls. And we talk about barriers because there was a label that they were all at risk. So I like to think that in Youth Build, they were able to break through some barriers in their own lives and kind of chip away at that title of being at risk. And this is a, a career training program just using construction as the tool. So they've learned a lot in terms of job readiness to be on time, to do their best, to be consistent, and to do everything they do with excellence. And those are absolutely skills that they can take on with them through school or through whatever career they pursue. You haven't done this for a couple of years, had a, a group assembled like this. It took a grant to do it. Tell me about that. I was not a part of the grant writing process. I, I joined the team um, in January, but it has been an amazing experience. Lucky for me, I have two great team members. I'm the manager. Sean Brown is our construction supervisor. Garrick Burkhalter, our case manager. And so with the three of us working together and kind of leveraging our resources at Easter Seals Tri-State, we've really been able to help the youth just grow by leaps and bounds personally and in their short and long-term goals. So. Now, I know that the project helped the young people, but also the home that was rehabbed helps someone else. It's kind of like a circle of love. Tell me about that. Absolutely. With the Department of Labor Youth Build Grant, we are required to work on a home in a low-income community that will be sold to a low-income family. So now that these youth are being served by the Department of Labor, they are also in turn serving others. So the home buyer must be low income. There are some guidelines to explain what that means. And the goal is to keep that home um, in, a, in that tax bracket for at least 10 years. So does it make you all feel good that someone's going to live in a better house because you did some work? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, how about a big shout out to Youth Build? Hey. 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 Hey.